All right, Greg, today we're standing in front of, now you did this, right? Yeah, restored it for, for display, basically. Right. Uh, 1960. It's a 60 model. 60 Corvette chassis. Chassis, okay. Uh, restored back to the original condition, you know, bolts, nuts, correct. Correct marking. hardware. Correct, correct hardware. And correct marking. So like, you didn't, we didn't go to Home Depot and buy this no. bolt. This TR is what would have been on it from the factory. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. In an interesting story, I came in one day and I was looking at this and it had masking tape and it had a mark and it had this. And I said, gotten a little sloppy. He goes, no, that killed me because Greg is so meticulous with all of his stuff. <laughs> but he goes, that's the way they would have done it at the factory. Right. They didn't care because they were just building like a Ford pickup truck. Yeah, it was going down assembly the assembly line. line. Yeah. And so you make it like that. Exactly. So when we talk about in some of our other videos, we've talked about frame off restorations. Exactly. So this would be an example of, of the frame, the chassis is here. We've taken the, the body of the car off. We've taken the engine out, the transmission, everything. And we get to the frame. You probably put it on like a rotisserie. Right. And you spun it around and you painted it. And we've talked about this. You, you, you're using modern finishes and modern coverings. Exactly. Modern coatings and paints, but that look like what was factory, but would be better. Right, better, better product, but look like what, what they would have put on it on the assembly line. Of course, of course, the chassis, the cross members were unbolted, you know, everything, just the bare frame rails. Right, you took every nut and bolt that could be taken off, this whatever yeah, this engine motor mount, mount engine mount was off, the exhaust was off of it, right. you were just right back down. And then I noticed here, like, this wire. Is, it, is this something you did? That, hold, that's just something to hold, hold, the, it, to hold the exhaust in place you, while it sets here. So, yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. To, to, to replicate the way it's done. Right. But these, these uh, some kind of noise dampening, rattle, yeah, synthetic that, straps. That's exactly what it would have had. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you can see all the mechanisms, like the parking brake right. lever. Right. That's pretty complex. I've never noticed that. Right. It's, it's, a, right. it's a crazy kind of lever design to pull both cables, pull both cables with, with, with one, one cable, cable. exactly right. and two david uh, take note the, the the different colors of shades of black okay the the, the a-arms the a-arms were kind of a, a shiny, kind of a gloss right you know where the for the chassis is more of a duller right. black and and then kind some of a flat of, right and, and even the sway bar is a little different color the engine mounts even again, a little bit different. So we're not black. taking the same finish of paint and just painting everything that's black that's black. No. We're painting it because I imagine this part would have been made in this was, Airborne. Uh, this, this was, yeah, this was made at another, another, another painted at another place. Right. So Company. they had a different finish. They right. might have powder coated it. These right. people are spraying a rust inhibiting paint that right. has this quality. Exactly. Wow. Like it's, the bumper braces are, you know, they're different they're from different. the chassis. And so you have to know this. Yeah. And so all you Corvette geeks are sitting around going, well, if we use a gloss, blah, 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 to replicate how the A-arm was done because it came from Larry Brown Production Company that right. was in Dearborn and this sure. was here. Sure. Wow. And then, and these colors would be indicative if this was a red car. Interior. Interior yeah. color. Yeah, interior color. So they would have brought, they would have painted this and matched the interior and it would have came all the way to here. Yeah. Even uh, in the car. Yeah, uh, up until I, I think maybe 61, Right. Uh, from from out the firewall to here was was black. And it's another neat thing he's told me is that like you know the, this piece of plastic and this it was painted two different places. It's a different color, but sure. you have to take this off because this is a swedge joint, sure. which means this doesn't disassemble. Right. And so you had to install this. You know this is kind of a mock-up, but you have to install this once the body's on. Right. And then put the assemble this right Once because the there's a hole not very big through the firewall right exactly through, through the firewall wow that, that is just amazing that you multiple colors of black now you have all your dot plumbing for the for the brakes right all new yeah all taken new. off you've redone all that new cables new hardware for the the braking system sure tires sway arms bushings bushings right bolts uh yeah axle straps uh correct okay. correctly done uh, riveted and, and correct oh, and rivets. Like right now, the car is unloaded with the body. Right. And, and so it's, it's, it's tied against these straps so right. that when the car was jacked up by the frame, it would bring the axle it would with catch, it. It'd catch it. the rear end without, without hanging on the shock. Right. Yeah. Because exactly. the shock would have took all the load. Sure. Here they're completely under tension because there's 
there's no weight to offset the spring rate of the sure. of the of the thing. Right. And then this is interesting. How long did Corvette run the exhaust through the uh, through 60, 60. 1960, okay. yeah. which is what year this is. Yeah. So this is the last year of that. And then I imagine like these bins and, and all that, is it, do they, they make this kit or did you take the old pipes and have them? No, this is, this is the exhaust kit uh, from Corvette Central. Okay. That, that, uh, that, that offers all the correct bins. This, this system will bolt right on the car. Right. Right on the car, no problem. And, I, and even all the, the clamps, the threads on the clamps are even proper. And the nuts. Fine thread. Oh my gosh. All Instead that, of coarse or like right. they do today or whatever. It, exactly. It's, it's the way it was. was. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Exactly. How much fun is that? And so then, uh, what, what's happening here? That's the gas line. Okay. Uh, and the, so the gas tank, we forget. Would be here behind the seat. Behind the seat in the cabin. Right. You know, that's something that on old pickup trucks, as a kid, I can remember the gas sloshing. I mean, people today that drive modern cars, I mean, the, the gas tank was like, if you, you're yeah, in the gas tank. Right there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, the, the, the cavity of the tank's right here where the seat is, right, yeah. behind, right behind the seat. Right behind the seat. The tank's right there, yeah. yeah. And then the, and the filler neck on those Corvettes is typically? On the, on the mid-year. Yeah. yeah, the tank's back here now. Yeah, on and the then it goes in car. there, right. Yeah, exactly. But, and then, is that not amazing? So, so you've got the gas line with this spring to protect sure. it right. all the way up through the frame, the hardware, again, the spring, the battery. We've talked about the battery. In the old days, these batteries were filled with tar. Tar top, yeah. Tar top. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, the, so they put the plates and then the, they, they sealed it with tar by just pouring it on top. Pretty much, yeah. And so you, yeah. but, and you take these, these batteries can be reproduced with a with a modern AGM battery right, inside. Right, exactly. Re so restoration a, battery. Yeah. Right. So you yeah. get a, a resto battery that looks correct. Exactly. And it'll yeah. judge correct, but they still do a deduction for not having the original yeah. battery. Yeah, a small deduction for, for the because, for And that's the sort of crazy because you could have the original battery, but I can't get a battery to last three years in my truck, let right. alone one that right. lasts fifty eight years. Right, right. Well it, it's it's I have seen some cars judged with the original battery in it. Yeah, I and have. They, and they literally but, just have to jump but, them but off. What's pretty much probably what maybe what's happened there is it, it has an AMG battery put in the original battery. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they cut the bottom out and yeah. make it work. Possibly, I, I don't, don't know that for sure, but right. maybe. Heat riser, this is something that's kind of cool. Back in the day, I remember this on exactly. cars we had that it, it will, uh, till this heats up and two dissimilar pieces of metal that move at different rates, open this up but it lets the exhaust recirculate back up around the right, carburetor. Right up through the engine and, and make the engine heat up, heat up quicker. Faster, quicker. Yeah, yeah. And, and run properly Better, right. quicker, yeah. With the, well, these were carbureted choked yeah. engines and they needed heat in the motor to make them work. Absolutely. So it would drive the heat into the motor quicker. Exactly. How much fun is that? Exactly. And that's why one side would steam first and yeah. the other side wouldn't. Exactly. Fantastic. And then, and then I can remember if both sides, Mama used to would look, hey, is it so I know the car's warmed up. Right. Yeah. Steaming out both sides. Exactly. exactly. Uh, it, well, what else? What else? I mean, so you've got multiple colors of paint with never a thought about that. I've walked by this thing a hundred times and never realized it. Right. The blacks are the blacks are special. Different shades of yeah. black. Absolutely. Masking tape, the marks with the pen, the yeah. right bolts, the right hardware. The and right and even too, David, some of the some of the finishes are natural. You know, not painted. Oh yeah, yeah. just like just bead blasted or or right sandblasted or whatever. A few pieces of the suspension and steer box and some steering linkage there, right. natural. Yeah, place. and and they do that on modern cars today. I look under my new pickup trucks after I get them in two or three days and things rust. Surface rust. Yeah, yeah. surface rust yeah. because it's probably a metal that's designed to surface rust and stop. But still, that's pretty interesting. Right. I, I love the teeth in the grill. You still paid, you have that on there. I mean, in the 60s, we're getting close to those going away. Well, 61, no, yeah. no, no teeth. Yeah, so this the is the last year. This is it, last yeah. year, exactly. Fantastic. And I love how it was bolted together. It's not a cast plastic piece with oh, right. chrome-plated right. nonsense. This yeah, is all, a piece of steel. All the teeth are, are separate. You right. know, the teeth are one piece, the grill bar is one piece. It's Stainless hardware. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, wow. A guy can, can look at this and, and, and get a good idea of, of what What's involved in a in a, in a frame off restoration? Right. You know, here's it's, it kind of give you an idea of what 
what you got to do. Exactly. You know? And then, and this car is going, you mentioned this in the next couple of days, you're going to send this somewhere. Yeah, at the, the uh, at the Corvette Expo in, in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, okay. March the 23rd, 24th, NCRS is going to use this in their booth for oh. display. Oh, okay. For display to, 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 to show people what we just talked yeah, about. Yeah, what, what's involved in doing an NCRS restoration. A frame off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to have it in their booth for display. Well, this, this car, this chass, this chassis, rolling chassis, uh, with the body off of it, is in the uh, Corvette Museum. Greg sells Corvettes. Go to this same YouTube channel or to the other, to his website. Sure. Vintage Corvettes. It's right here at the bottom. Right. And you can see all the cars that Greg has. He took the time to show you what this restoration looks like that is on a car that you can buy from him and have great confidence that every nut and bolt, correct. everything is correct. Right. Judge correct. Go to his website, check it out. He's got a bunch of cars for sale. Exactly. You got anything you want to add? That's, that's about it, David. You mm -hmm. got it. Let's go. Fantastic.